everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you a really fantastic and really easy way to grill pineapple for dessert. Fabulous. So I have about half of a whole pineapple that I used um, for juicing and now I have the remainder. And I've cut the top and the bottom off. So what I need to do now is I just need to cut this um, rough skin off. You can't eat that, right? Cut it as closely to the flesh as you can. Um, making sure that you get these little knobs out because no one wants to eat those, right? But don't waste any. Don't waste these parts. You can eat them yourself. Okay, so now I'm just going to cut them into slices, maybe about mm, a half an inch, three quarters of an inch thick. I'm leaving the core in. That's no problem. I don't mind eating the core. I don't know why everyone doesn't. Nice slices. Okay. Now I have a plate here, not that you need it, but it's just, it's a nice little touch. It kind of makes a caramel. I have some brown sugar here and I'm going to sprinkle some, a uh, little bit of cinnamon in here. It's a little bit Brazilian style. And I'm just going to mix that through that brown sugar. My grill is preheated. It's on a pretty high heat. And what we're trying to do is just get some nice grill marks. So I'm just going to quickly Baste them with a little bit of butter. I have a little bit of butter in here and a little bit of olive oil. So all of them get a little bit of that on both sides. Just work it into the grooves as best you can. Okay, so one side in, a little bit of brown sugar on it, rub it all over. And the other side, rub it all over. And just take off any excess that you don't need. You just want it to have a nice thin coating. And onto that hot, hot grill. Oh, it already smells great. See how you get it on? Sometimes it'll cake on, but then you just kind of brush it off a little bit. You don't need to totally um, caked on there. Just a light dusting. Oh yeah. Now this won't take long because pineapple's nice and sweet, but we also have that brown sugar on. So let me check it. We're getting there. A couple more minutes. Now if you're anything like me, I like a little bit of spice with my sweet. So I'm gonna put some chili peppers on my side. You can also use a hot smoked paprika would be nice, would give a nice smokiness. Okay, I'm gonna check these. Beautiful, that's just what I want. Beautiful grill marks like that. I'm gonna get a cross hatch pattern, turn them a quarter turn, and let them sit for a few more minutes, and then we'll turn sides and do the same thing. Okay, we're ready to turn these guys. Oh yeah, beautiful, just what I want. They look like sunflowers. <laughs> gorgeous. Okay, it's time to turn them a quarter turn again. Okay, they're ready. Look at that, look at that. Oh, oh man, look at that, mommy. Beautiful, Kim. Isn't that gorgeous? gorgeous? Oh. You'll wish you did a whole pine a pineapple after. Look at that, so pretty. And it smells amazing. These taste ridiculously good. And I've gotta make sure I remember where the spicy ones are because no one else is gonna want them as hot as mine. A whole pile of luscious Pretty, right? Sweetness. Isn't oh. that gorgeous? Are you ready to try, Mom? Mm -hmm. Well, I get a spicy and you do too. No. Mom's just taking off with her pineapple? No, I was gonna go and hide and scarf it down. She doesn't even wanna know. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. oh. That is heaven. There you go. This is so good. Uh, mm. I like mine spicy, so you don't have to do that. The brown sugar is sufficient. In fact, you don't even need to put brown sugar. You can just put it on just like that. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness. That's a great dessert. So alongside this tonight, we had a gorgeous grilled blood orange basil bassa filet. And we also had a beautiful Asian cabbage salad with ginger sesame dressing. Lovely, and some rice. And this is the perfect finale. That's a beautiful. It's so pretty. It's a nice conversation piece. It's really, really delicious. And it satisfies that final craving of something sweet. Mm. That cinnamon, you like that? That is awesome. <laughs> Mom likes it. It's heavenly. That's good. <laughs> so that's how you do it. That's how you grill pineapple. Mmm. 
Mm -mm -mm -mm. So easy, so simple. You can do it too. Don't be afraid of those big pineapples at the store. They're easy to hack up and do some really creative and cool stuff with it. So that's how you do it. Make sure you check out mom's website at ingridturnertoday.com. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly and YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. And my site is Cooking with Kimberly.com. That's it, that's all. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.